What's up guys, this is the first edition of my workout vlog. I haven't made any Yo Elliot's in a while, a couple days now, and uh, I'll be uploading some of those again starting tomorrow. I haven't trained in about a month. I've gained like 20 pounds, I'm fat as hell. I'm starting my, a new program. I'm gonna do a, an Olympic lifting cycle for about 10 weeks. See where that goes, I'm looking for something more athletic to do. I'll be training, you know, five, six, seven days a week sometimes. And these videos are going to be raw, uncut, unpolished versions of my workouts. I'll also be putting it in, in the description area down below a log so that you can see exactly what weights I'm using, what reps and sets I'm following, in case you want to follow along. Peace. So if you're wondering about my diet, I'm going back to like a paleo style meal plan again. Similar, following something pretty similar to the carb night layout that I described in other videos created by a guy named Kiefer. And um, a little bit of intermittent fasting. I find that that, those, that works best for me. Keeping the carbs real low and then loading up every once in a while. And then uh, the intermittent fasting seems to seems to work. I mean, I maintain most of my strength. I feel really good, and the body fat comes down. So if you watch some of my videos from earlier this year, you'll see the way my body looks. That is a product of intermittent fasting combined with paleo type eating. So that's what I'll be doing for the next couple of weeks. You'll watch my body transform. My body changes pretty quickly. I gain easy, and I lose easy. Not necessarily easy, but but quickly. And you'll notice that through these through these next few posts. Bar and these plates aren't the best for Olympic lifting. I've never really taken that great of an interest in Olympic lifting to actually go buy an Olympic bar and, uh, and bumper plates. But I'm thinking about it. I might do that. We'll see. Depends on how long I stick with this. You know, if I do this for the next couple weeks, I really enjoy it. I might look for a competition to, to enroll in. I always do better. My training is always best when I have a competition to look up to, to look towards. That's why Strongman was so great for me for so many years. Um, the reason for the switch, why I'm not doing strongman right now and I'm doing Olympic lifting, strongman beats you the fuck up. My body just, and nervous system just can't handle it right now. With all the demands placed on me, with family, with business, with all the things that, uh, you know, our pie is only so big. And if you allocate, if I allocate that much energy, in time, and, and the beating of my body requires recovery. And strongman is, is pure beating. Love the sport, but just looking for something a little bit less, uh, I wouldn't say less demanding, but less of a burden on my body. So I, I'm thinking that this might be it. But you know, we'll see. Again, this is all an experiment. I've been training since I was 13 years old, 14 years old, and it's still, everything is still an experiment. I don't know anything. I don't make any strong claims in any particular direction because I'm still learning. You understand? So, as a coach, as a mentor, 
is an athlete of, 20, of 34 years. Always been an athlete. I'm still learning. So that's what, part of what you're experiencing here. I've competed in Olympic lifting before, but it, that was like 10 years ago. So part of the reason why I got so fat was traveling. So past two, three weeks, I've been kind of on vacation with my family. And I gotta tell you, I probably gained most of the weight in Savannah, Georgia. Miss Wilkes, between Miss Wilkes and Paula Deans, I mean, the food in that city is just tremendous. So goddamn good. I eat fried chicken and sweet tea every day for like a week straight. It's crazy. And um, if you ever go to Savannah, you gotta go eat at Miss Wilkes family style restaurant. I mean, good old southern cooking. Fried chicken and, and macaroni and cheese and sweet tea, all the stuff that makes you fat. Tastes really good. So that's it, you know, like it was off season. I've been able to maintain a certain body weight, body fat percentage as I struggle with my weight. Weight is a struggle for me. Strength is not a struggle, muscle is not a struggle, body fat is a struggle for me. Um, I had to take a couple weeks off and that was it. But I mean, this is the byproduct. I'm fat as fuck right now, so. But you guys will watch, it'll come off. But anyway. things that people might wonder and that I even ask myself is like why would I make a video vlog like this right where basically I'm not playing Elliot Hulse you're seeing you know as, as corny and as, as boring and as plain Jane as I could possibly be Elliot Hulse at his rawest you know and it's not always the way I seem when I'm you know, playing Elliot Hulse in a lot of my other videos that's because I don't want to become, and I don't want you to become, attached to an idea of what Elliot Hulse is. It's very easy, you know, and I, I kind of felt like I've lost myself, in a way, in that character. Because it's like, you guys like Elliot Hulse that, I mean, it, it's not even like that's a, it, it's somebody different than who I am. It's, it's an embellishment sometimes, because I want to get my point across in such a way that it strikes at your heart. But, I mean, it's really like, who I am. But I don't want to fucking have to show you guys. I don't have to put the pressure on myself every single time I communicate with my audience to live up to your expectations or anybody else's expectations. That's why I do videos like the one I put up the other day where you can see how fucking ugly I am. You understand? So that's it. So you're going you're gonna to get... You know, you might come to like me more, you come to fucking hate me more. Come to realize there's nothing that fucking special about this guy through these videos. But you know what? It cleanses my heart to come at you this way. Makes me feel good that I'm transparent, laying it all out on the table. Talking a lot today in between my sets, but really what you're going to just get with these videos is whatever I have, whatever I am.
So I shaved my head. All right, I've, <laughs> I've had hair on my head growing for like the past year. If you watch all my videos from 2007, almost so like six months ago, maybe eight months ago, I always had a shaved head. And then, then I started growing it, you know, because I'm on camera all the time and it's just a, I guess it's a sexier look. I don't know what the fuck. But anyway, I mean, I guess I look nicer. But the past couple of weeks, you know, I, I told you I've been battling with this idea of Elliot Hulse and the version of Elliot Hulse that I'm playing, the one that's growing within me and the conflict between the two. I looked in the mirror, you know, one day, I'm like contemplating, and I'm just like, fuck this. Just took it all off. Symbolically to say that I'm not attached to any character I'm playing. When, when I say this, you guys might think like, oh, he's playing a YouTube character. It's a life character, and you're playing one too. We all play a particular character that is a manifestation of the experiences the beliefs, the ideas that we've been handed. Notice that I say handed, not necessarily grown. Handed to us as we've evolved as human beings. And um, so when I admit that I'm a character, it's also an invitation for you to look at when are you playing a character? What character are you playing? You know, what kind of pe character does your parents expect you to play? Your girlfriend expects you to pay, play? The school expects you to play? When you go to work, you're not just fucking you, right? You're, the you that watches football with your friends on Monday night is a very different you when you're talking to your boss at the office, right? So we're all playing these fucking characters. One of my objectives in life is not to become personally identified with any fucking character. That's why I say I might change my mind. I have no problem changing my fucking mind. I might change my mind. I may contradict myself. I might disappear and fucking go live in the mountains. I don't know what I'm gonna do. The whole point is that I don't wanna be rooted in or shackled to any particular character that I happen to be playing. So the shaving of the head is kind of like, it's for me, really. Symbolically saying, I am not this guy. There's far more.